Hey guys, I am the Tattoo Rep here and I just have my channel back. So I want to give away one Arcana for you. Up one game. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so it's Arc Warden playable though. You look at this like... It, look, yeah. it looks pickable. Yeah. 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 Uh, Milan with the foresight. Uh, Love it. I also want to mention that Nine is having a fantastic lane versus Arc Warden in the middle. There's even yeah, top, a Murata rolling on him here. Ooh. Thompson having to juke the arrow. We'll keep him alive. I say that. Snaking's in. Leaping forward. He's looking for Thompson. Needs a couple more hits though. Thompson's starting to salve out. Salve up. Sneaking around the tree line. Snaking. He's not going to have enough damage in the tank to finish him off. Still has one leap left to try and break away from the two of them. But Thompson, he's got the flux skilled and they've got the nuke damage with the purifying flames. They will be OG. They heal up. They're able to strike back and they do manage to get farther out of the lane. Yeah, and in both side lane, uh, both lanes, the Tundra support started going down. Both in lanes that they're already winning. They're, they're going for Seb here, though. Oh, they pop on the shield. The shield damage from Fada, it blows him up. Saxon will turn with the Hex. Oh, shit, they can run they him can down. They can run him down, damn boots. They've got a shield as well if they want to look to dive the tower, and they do. Skeeter, shielded up by Fada, they're in. And Tundra, they'll hit back just as hard, getting the revenge there for losing Fada earlier in the matchup. I was going to say that it's a huge deal to get kills in lanes where you're losing. But Tundra immediately strike back, and they're not done yet. They're going on to mid here. Yeah, this aggression here. Straight on to Thompson. Thompson continues to have no tail. Stand by his side. Father's Father's come swinging in over. They'll get in. They'll land the slow here with the reach of the field. They'll take out Thompson. They'll take out no tail. Double kill for nine in the mid lane as Tundra. That series, Alchemist was free farming. This one, Skitter, he's. I mean, it's not like Alchemist is getting full zone from the lane or something, but he's almost doubling up. I'm oh, doubling. nine. Oh, nine. <laughs> It gets another one, enough mana with the one charge. There's Tundra there. They're popping off big time very quickly to start with Thompson mid. He's trying to TP out. Have they got enough damage? They don't. Thompson will manage to get his main self back to the base. And still, it's back to the base. It's going to be time off the map for Thompson as Thompson continues to have a slow start. Samael, he's come over with the rotation. See if he has enough damage to take down. And he doesn't. A terrible rotation there from Samael will cost him his life. Nine gets another kill. No Tail's running up to the high ground. Nine, he's going to look to chase this down. 33 turns with the helm of the Don Wildwing Ripper to rip No Tail's <laughs> life away from him. Able to do this. They're running them over on the map. They really are. And uh, there's a lot of supports to run over with sort of the start that they're having on the Alk and the, 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 the Wark Ward. And they've got kind of four supports going at the moment, OG. They're falling behind big time going to get the space to get their farm on these cores now. You, you have to kill the Tundra heroes. If you don't kill them, they're going to run at you too much. And here they go. They're going on to Skitter here. Do they have damage though? I see. Skitter. He has got enough for the one charge and a Sunder. See if he gets it off. One's popped. And it's not it's quite got enough mana for the Sunder as of yet. We'll step to the side. And he's going to be fine. Saxa ticking down to the damage of the urn. The illusions are out. Skeeter, he's going to be able to pick up a kill on Saxa. Samael at the same time dying to nine. Was that a so solo kill by nine in the mid lane with the help of the Dark Troll Summoner? In fact, from the Helm of the Dom that 33 is playing with from across the map. But 3-3, three, three, he's just adding onto his teammate's play. Suddenly, there's <laughs> one creep mid. It yep. changes the dynamic of the matchup. And Tundra, they're putting pressure on all three lanes right now. OG seeping in for the defense in mid. And they've got the three of them. They've got to be careful with Samael, though. Samael was the only core that was really having a good start. He's come well, to the twice and died two times to nine. They will get the catch on Snake King. They've got the damage with the three of them. Nine trying to poke back in onto Saxa, but he won't. Very cautious. I mean, we've seen Tundra dive past this tier one many times before. Samael, I don't know how safe he is standing as close as he is here. The slow comes out from the plasma <laughs> field. Dive Troll summon up. They get the setup on him. They're just running him down. Under the tier two, Samael will be safe enough for now. But falling very low. They'll have the space and aggression to push down the tier one. Arrow coming in from the side, snaking. He lands the hit onto No-Tail. Can't get past Samael, though. So No-Tail no -tail will be fine. Well, at least for now. I say that nine and Fada. They're still looking to get him past the tier two, and they will. Plasma field out. Nine sweeps by. Picks up another kill. Seven and 33 with the pressure. Will now be able to take this tier one tower away without OG being able to do anything to hold it. So Tundra have taken both the mid tower and the enemy they're, they're just running into the jungle. Seb, and he can't get out of this. He tries to TP, but the Yules is there. I mean, this raise it just completely taking over the game here with the way that Tundra are... Oh, Tundra, they're just zooming around and they've already killed him as the tower's going down. Bottom, Thompson. Uh, he's got to look to get out of it. Okay. He's going to go for the TP out, but the damage is done. Skidder with the illusions of the metamorphosis. We'll take Thompson out before he can get away. Ooh, 
and this is how you want to play Terrorblade. Oh, mid lane though, they're going on to 9 here. This is a big kill if they can get it. I mean, Nine's pretty tanky. He's got the Yules as well to keep himself safe. They're ready to turn. Snaking will get fingered here by Saxa, but Saxa still falls. Nine charges in over towards Samael. The link going as well. Samael's got to step out to the side. Seb has not got any damage to turn back in onto the two of them. He's trying. I don't know how much he's going to achieve from getting a few hits on this, though, as the slows are coming out from Fighter and Nine. Seb's got to get back under the tier two. Meanwhile, top lane, you have a uh, Helmet Dominator Titan. I'm never expecting something like that, but no, this game's crazy. There's a lot to learn from, and. But OG, they're not out of it yet. They can still Smile. clutch this game. I mean, he's been caught in the mid hit. I just have no tail by the side. False promise is at the ready if Samael needs it. I'll try and turn, see if they've got the damage to bring down Nine. Stuns in, Nine falling low. Nine off to the side, but he'll go down. OG finally able to bring down the Razor. A big kill to catch. Can they get more from this? I'm trying to chase down Snaking. Just fast enough. It is going to allow him to kick out a lot of damage. Eternal Shroud done as well. So Samael. It's going to be pretty survivable on the front lines, especially with Notel having the backup. Oh, arrows connecting like that, though, might cause issues. Samael's going to turn with the Nihilism. It's actually not really amping up that much at all. Tundra seemed being pretty unfazed there by that aggressive attempt from Samael. The Ravage comes out. He catches the three of them, plus the Tempest double. That's seven Samael gone. The Tempest double to fall as well. But, well, in fact, they've got their eyes set on bigger targets. They're going to go for the real heroes, chasing down Notel. As no tell, false promises himself. He's got no escape available, though. He knows what's inevitable, as his life will come to an end. Another kill for nine. He's even dragged the bottom waves. The amount of efficiency coming up from the wave drags, everything from Tundra side is phenomenal. But they're going on to Tidehunter mid here. This Let's is their chance. They have no Ravage. They're in. Stun control. Fada. He'll offer up a Nymphotic Shield. It won't be enough to save him. Finger comes in big from Saxa. They'll burst down the tide. Getting that Ags and fueling it into Samael. It does mean they're sort of going to be playing a core down. And even more than that, this game with Topson still needing time to recover. Get himself a few items. See up in the jungle. They'll go to look to burst down nine. But nine's got the Aegis. He'll be ready for another round. 15 seconds until the Ravage is back up for 33. Fada getting focused. Still has the borrowed time to rely on Samael. He's been silenced. False Promise comes out from No-Tail to keep Samael alive. Over to the side. They're on to Topson. Topson gets blown up. As Topson down, they're heading towards Skeeter. Do they have the damage to take down the Terror Blade? They don't. Skeeter turns, gets the Sunder off. Ravage is ready to go. 33 catches, all remaining heroes on OG. As OG get team wiped by Tundra. Snaking. Oh, Snakes up. He's in the blink. Is he going to be able to buy enough time for the rest of them to head over? Samael. It's not going to be able to get close enough by the looks of it, and if anything, has to be a little careful. Skeeter is in the neighborhood, and uh, meanwhile, Nine, he's killing off Seb top. Seb steps up, a quick kill onto him. OG, they really want to, they, they're still trying to go for this, but the bro's under there from Skeeter, keeping Snaking healed up. Samael still on the front lines, has he got enough damage to kill Snaking? He's trying to chase him. Snaking will finally fall, but it's been a lot of pressure here from Samael. Samael has got enough to deal with the rest of them. Nine, he's in with the BKB, ready to chase down Samael with the static link. It's Topson, he's been surrounded by 33 Fowler and Skeeter. Topson's trying to fight them off. He's got nothing to offer against the three of them as Topson goes down. Nine, still with the movement speed, closing in on Samael. Another slow from the plasma field. He's got your scepter in eight seconds, not quite. Once or twice. It's not something that we usually see, like a lot of OG strats. Yeah, that, yeah I would say, don't worry, Lowie. It doesn't even say in the tooltip that it makes himself no, why would it? So, you don't deserve you know, to know from we Jordan can, We can blame Valve on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Seb, they've found him. He's going to get the ult off. It doesn't matter. Skeeter at this stage with the... With the 24 minutes into the game, and they only wow. have two of the neutral items that drop at 17. And this is with Last Track, Alchemist, Arcorn, and heroes that you typically consider to farm neutrals a lot. Samael. Go for Fada. Sanks has got the stun here. 33. He's on and onto the Ravage. Stun will come out. Concoction onto 33. And still just not quite the damage at all here. Skeeter more than fine. Turns up towards Samael. No tell. He's got the false promise. Holds onto the last moment, really, to pop it onto Samael. Samael will try for the TP out, but 33 pops the Ravage. Catches No tell and Samael. No escape for them. Four dead again on OG as Tunj. Setting up with the Moonlight. Getting in behind the tier 2 tower as well, Tundra. Skeeter will be able to finish off the tier 2 tower. I'll try and turn their attention towards Fada, but Fada's more than happy for OG to go on it. Ults at the ready, Samel forced out to the side. 
No tail, no false promise for 25 seconds. Samael, he's going to need help. He's not going to get it with no alt back up on the Oracle. There's no save for Samael. Samael's down for 45, and that's more than enough space for Tundra to step up to the high ground. 25 minutes in, start looking to take down the tier three in the back. Thompson, what can he do to hold? Has he got enough firepower in him to get some kills? He will get barred up. Big stun from Saxon comes out onto the two of them. Snake in getting low. Will get burst. OG, they will manage to hold here. They get two kills and that. They're slowing down the offensive here from Skeeter. Is it going to be enough? Doesn't look like it. Tier 3 still goes down. 33 stepping up. Has Ravage good to go. So OG, got to be cautious how close they step towards the tide. And they can't step close enough at all to stop this damage being done. The melee racks falling pretty fast to the back door protection does kick in. Bubble as well. They're able to move into the bubble. Katina beat down and OG, they're just getting torn apart by nine. He heads in with the BKB. The two rounds of the eye of the storm and OG, they've got to step out of it. Samel again, getting aggressively forced in by 33. 33 playing around with Samel each and every time he tries to step in. Now Skeeter, he's just on top of Thompson. Charging down on the artwork. The Ravage comes out, catches the four of them again. 33 easily able to land it onto pretty much the entirety of OG's lineup. As OG, they're getting beat back towards the fountain. Thompson only just being saved here by the false promise. He will live. Tundra, are they going to get caught on the way out? Skeeter still with an Aegis. Samael. They're going to Farda. Borrowed time still on cooldown for 30 seconds. Saxer, another nice stun lined up onto the three of them. They'll kill off Farda. Samael charging in the nihilism as well. Amping up the damage being dealt here to Skeeter. Skeeter, they should be able to take him down the once. Can they do it again? He's got limited backup. Only 33 and snaking ready to help out. Got the stun opening. Is there anything Skeeter can do to play his way out of this one? Get the reflector now onto the four of them. Any further catch? Seb stunning a rev up concoction. They force him up to the high ground. Concoction's in. Another force. 33. Forcing Skeeter down to the low ground. Is it enough to get him out of the reach of Saxa? It is. 33 will get Skeeter. They got the a distance he needs to get into the trees, but the hex is there. The vision provided. The spark rev into the trees will allow them to get the catch. Stop Skeeter from getting out. As I admit, of course, that ability for OG to really pick much up with the way that Tundra is keeping OG contained in the base. And they pop meta here. He wants to go in. Oh, he does. He popping the BKB. Skeeter's just charging down. He's able to force no to have to false promise himself. 33 holding on for the reaction. Now pops the Ravage again, catching the four of them. They move in nine with a fresh second charge. The BKB in the eye of the storm runs down. No tail. No tail will turn to be able to keep Samael alive, but it will cost Skitter. No tail his life. Thompson does turn, take down 33. Thompson will win the duel this time round as he holds his ground, beats him down. But that's Seb out and nine heads over towards Thompson, catches him trying to sneak back towards the base. And Thompson, he's out. He's 90 gold short of buyback. He's not going to have buyback available in time. They do manage to get kills elsewhere, though. With OG, no tail, and Seb won't be able to buy back for a second round in the fights. And they're heading in with the smoke. See what they can find. Skeeter, he's ready to go and aggressively jumps forward straight away. No tail having to instantly false promise himself as he attempts to force his way out of here. Saxa gets focused down by the damage of Skeeter. Saxa out for a minute. No buyback. But they're forcing him in. Nine's ready to go in even deeper onto Samel. Samel trying to turn with the aggression of the nihilism. Skeeter. In focus, but he's still got the Sunder. Good to go. 33 is in with the Ravage, catching them all out as they try and get back towards the fountain. A buyback has to come out from Samael. Samael getting straight back in on Tafada. Stun, catching out Skeeter. Skeeter, he's still got a Sunder. Is he able to get it off in time? He is. Sunder snaking gets him back a good amount of health. Refresher pop from nine. Jumps straight back in over to No Tail. There's No Tails out for 80 seconds. Nine's able to clean up with the triple. Gets Topson. Turns towards Samael, but Samael, he's still got a lot of fuel in the tank. He's ready to get burning down the rest of them. Nine, he's got to step out of here. Seb beats into snaking. Samael jumps forward. He's able to pick up another with the blink. Triple kill. Ultra kill for Samael. And Samael, he's holding on here for OG. The concoction over the wall. P3 is just going to grab this up. It is so incredibly powerful. The double ravage. I mean, maybe this is what they need. Just a little bit more oomph to their team fight. Where they can Straight up, popping the metamorphosis. OG, what have they got? Come in with some good defense before the 33 is in. Straight to the back lines, finds the Ravage onto the three of them. They take out No Tail. That's No Tail out. No buyback. Samael, he's not got his Oracle. He's not got his save. As that's Samael down. Two minutes. Saxa gone as well. There'll be a buyback from Saxa. But no Samael, no No Tail. With the buyback still on cooldown. Thompson's doing a lot he's got to do damage. some heavy carrying here. He certainly is. Skidder getting low, but Skidder, he looks to jump back in aggressively. Sunder onto Seb. Skidder's up to full HP. Still has the Aegis and the BKB ready to pop Skidder. Saxa lines up the stun, but the reach is there. 33 and 9 jump in on top of him. There's three dead on OG. No buybacks available as Tundra, at the least, will be able to get the Mega Creeps. Maybe even the game itself as well. Thompson and Seb. 
What can they do here, the two of them? Double getting caught out by the arrow. 33 able to force the double outside of the bubble so they can take it out. You'll set them onto Thompson as they close in upon him. Thompson is trying to stand his ground, forced out to the side, but they've got the damage, they've got the chase. Thompson is out. Four dead on OG. They've got fortification to rely on. No tails back up in five. But without two calls for more than a minute, what sort of miracle can OG achieve here? Seb is trying to head forward. False promise out from no tail. It's keeping Seb alive, but Tundra. They're just focusing the objectives here. Fada and Skeeter looking to close it up onto the tier force. Buyback finally comes up for Thopson. He's back in, but Seb's out. No tail as well, only just surviving it back in the base. They're popping the BKBs. Tundra, they're actually going to ignore the H. They want to get more kills out of this. They take out the double. Thopson, can he hold the base here? The final tier four, starting to fall. Skeeter jumps in straight away on a Thopson. Thopson, he's out of the game for good, as that'll be it. No more backup here for OG as Tundra, they'll claim the victory. GG called by OG as Tundra will take this series 2-0.